Hi guys, and welcome to The Singing Boston. This is Kelly, and this is the follow-on video to our introduction to scent work. If you find this video useful, we sure hope you'll give it a like, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. You don't want to miss any of our upcoming videos. Now, let's get to work. <laughs> We're going to talk about how you transition what you just taught your dog in the intro video. Obviously, as I mentioned before, Dice knows how to play this game, so I'm going to protect his box for now. Now we're going to talk about how you transition your dog just on the tin on the ground into your container. In this case, we're going to be using a cardboard box because that's what you're going to start with in AKC Novice. You can tell somebody's a little excited to play the game. And this is the behavior that you want to create by using your positive choice based training. You want a dog who is literally maybe not yelling at you like he is, but just can't wait to work, whatever the game is. I don't care if it's obedience. I don't care if it's hand touches or scent work. This is the behavior that you want. So I've got my Q-tip. I've mentioned that you don't want to touch it with your hands because I don't want the odor on my hands. Dice, come over here. Sit. Good boy. Now again, Dice knows how to play this. So be patient with your dog on however long it takes. I'm going to drop it in the box. If you want, you can drop it ahead of time so that there will be a little bit mo more odor in the box, but you can just do and drop that. Put this aside so that they can't accidentally stab themselves. Ah, we have another player. Hi, Miss Ellie. And we'll also show you with Ellie. This is a great game to play if you've got a dog in a cone, as you can see Miss Ellie, who just had cataract surgery. If you have an older dog, that's the beauty of scent work is any dog can play it. Okay, Ellie, why don't you come on over here? Why don't you sit? Good girl. All right, so I have my odor in here. I'm gonna get my clicker ready. Wait, Dice, sit. Good boy. Dice, find it. Yes. And I'm gonna have one cookie ready. I have a cookie fumble there. Dice, it's right here. <laughs> Ellie, sit. Ellie, sit. Good girl, stay. Okay, good boy, Dice. Find it. Yes. All right, I'm gonna re I'm gonna really reward Ellie for that as well. So now I've got just Ellie, and you can see, find it. Yes. Good girl. I'm gonna move the box around. Find it. Yes. And you notice she came to my hand and she did not get any reward for that. She only got a reward when she went to the box. Find it. Yes. Good girl. Move it around. Find it. Yes. Good girl. Once your dog is consistently going to the odor in the box, you can start training the behavior if this is something that you want to do. There's some people, for example, that train their dog to lie down when they find the odor. So when they find the box that has the odor in it, instead of pawing at it, they'll lie down. Other dogs will beat it up with their feet. So if you have a behavior you want to train, once your dog consistently is going to odor, now's the time to do it. Find it. Yes. Good girl. Find it. And I'm going to look at the box. I'm not looking at her because I don't want her to engage with me. There we go. Good girl. And I'm going to reward at the odor. I'm not going to have her go here and come back to me because the point of the game is for her to find the odor, not to find me. So one other way that you can teach odor, in addition to the two ways I talked about in the intro video, is you can have it in your hand. So we're going to break the cardinal rule here of don't touch the Q-tip with your hand. I'm going to have a cookie in one hand and I'm going to have odor in another hand. To get the cookie, she has to go to odor. I'm giving her time to think. You can see she's at the cookie hand. And if they're struggling, help them. Yes. 
good girl. At this point, I'm not putting a command with it yet because they don't know what it is. Yes, good girl. So I'm swapping out for dice. And you can see him really work in this hand here. And I can move them closer together to help him. Yes. Yes. Remember, the point of the game is to make your dog successful. So if you have to help them, that's OK. So if you have to bring the hand, I don't care if you have to bring the hand all the way to their nose. Yes. You want to help them be successful. And I'm not going to switch hands at this point because that wouldn't really be fair because I've got all this odor in my right hand now. So if you're going to do it this way, make sure that you do it on different days after you really washed your hands in between. Find it. Yes. Now that he's getting it, now I use my find it command. Find it. Yes. Good boy. And I can start working on him getting a bit sticky like we talked about in the intro video. Find it. Yes, notice him sticking and holding there. That's exactly what I want his end behavior to look at. So this is a great way you can start teaching that as well. Good job.